What's up guys, it's Pete Moss and Monkey Boo and this is Question Answer with Monkey Boo Part 2. Okay, the first question comes from Brenda Jeske and her question is, does Boo ever slow down to cuddle? Um, that's a, actually a pretty good question because he seems always so wide open and he is, he is a bundle of energy. But actually when it's bedtime, when Boo's ready to settle down for the night, he is actually like a real live teddy bear. He'll lay and snuggle up to you, he'll rub on you. I always uh, try to get him to talk to me when I come to bed. I'll say, hey, and he makes a little noise. It sounds like he's saying, hey, back to me. So, Brenda, yes, uh, if you ever thought about having a monkey, them, yes, they can be, be quite the colors. They're very affectionate, and Boo is wide open right now. He's not in the cuddling mood. He is wanting to play. So, yeah, Boo is definitely very, very cuddle friendly, and it's very cool to sleep with him. It's like having a real live teddy bear. All right, the next question comes from Lee Hughes, and his question is, do you teach Boo tricks like a dog? Is it easy, will it be easier as he gets older? Actually, Boo's four years old. Um, the easier, older he gets, yes, the easier it will be. Teaching him like a dog is not really, it's not the same. Teaching uh, monkeys tricks are, uh, to me, like repetitive. It's doing the same thing over and over. It, it's pretty easy to teach him stuff doing it that way, so. Just lots of practice, and yes, as he gets older, five, six, seven years old, they get much, much more easy to train. You can see Boo is trying to get in the door. You're not getting in there, Boo. You're not getting in there. So yeah, as he gets older, they would definitely be much easier to train, and I look forward to, to training Boo as he gets older. Jump to me, Boo. He's so much fun. Okay, another question sent in was from YouTube channel Yin Yang Dragons. I believe I'm saying that right. Um, they have said that they would like to purchase a monkey and I guess they've asked a lot of monkey owners questions and they've got a lot of different mixed reviews so they asked me you know what my opinion about the aggressiveness and so forth of monkeys you know I think monkeys are a lot like people or you know any other animals you know someone may have a German Shepherd or a pit bull that could grow up to be a very great family dog if it's raised right uh, same with people if they're not raised right they act crazy um, you know, they get into trouble. Monkeys are the same way. There's bad monkeys, there's good monkeys. There's bad people, there's good people. There's bad dogs and there's good dogs. It's just, really, it's, it's all in hatred. What do you think, Boo? Are you a good monkey? Are you a good monkey? And that, I know you guys are thinking I'm hurting him when I shake him around like that. Um, in the wild, he would actually still be attached to his mom sometimes. She would jump from tree to tree, so I could like throw him around. He's not gonna get hurt. He's, he's very, very durable. Thank you, Boots. I'm super tough. I'm super tough. All right, Charlie McWhorter wants to know if I ever have to put Boo on a leash because he's noticed in the videos when Boo is outside that he rarely wears a leash. We can actually go outside with Boo. He may venture out into the yard a little ways. I hardly ever really have a problem with him running off. Like, Boo's never actually climbed a real tree. Believe it or not, my monkey has never climbed a tree. We've tried to get him to. He has no desire. So, but when I do put him on a leash, like if I'm gonna take him out, if I'm gonna take him to the store, and we'll, we'll be doing some videos with that, taking him places a lot more. I have like a three foot leash. When I put Boo on that leash, I'm in control. Boo, who's in charge when you're on the leash? So you are daddy. Here's your baby. Good boy. So yeah, like uh, when we go outside around the house, Boo's very good about standing around. His favorite thing to do is go outside and jump on my car. Like right after we clean it, he loves to run. And, if the cars are wet after it's rained, he will slide across them. He just thinks that's the most fun. You like to do that, Boo? You like to jump on the cars? Say it's big fun. It's big fun, Daddy. All right, the next question is from Flying Gemini 08. And actually, a lot of people ask this question. Sorry if I didn't say you guys' names, but I couldn't say everybody's name who asked this question. How has Boo been since his surgery? Actually, Boo recovered from his surgery. We had this case, you don't know. We had his canines removed. Boo, come here. Come here, Boo. I got a break. We had his canines removed and we had him neutered. He actually recovered from the surgery in about, in about I would say, two days. He was completely 100% back to himself, eating what he normally does, and he was right back to himself. Maybe not even two days. He, he's got his phone. He may want to call somebody. But yeah, he did uh, really well from his surgery. As far as changes in Boo, people have asked about that. 
I haven't really noticed a whole lot of changes in him other than he loves to, to nibble at you if you may have seen him doing. It don't really hurt, but when he had his canines, it didn't hurt so much then, but now it's uh, much more pleasant to play with him because he does like to play bike, but it, it don't hurt, and that's just his way of playing. It's, it's pretty cool. Good follow-up question from Connie Clemens is about punishing boo. Now, like I have actually kind of popped boo on the butt, I guess kind of like you would do a child a few times. Um, they made mention of him like biting on Tracy. He, he don't hurt us when he does that. He's very, very gentle. He, you know, he loves us, and if he ever does get out of the way, like one thing I'll do, the way I'll punish him is if he does something really bad, he knows when he's in trouble, he'll try to run from me, I catch him, I may put him in the cage for a few minutes, but I don't really want to do it now because he's not, but I'll actually, if you ever know, sometimes I will actually hold him down and I will hold him there until he just relaxes. And sometimes it may take five minutes, sometimes it may take 10, ten minutes, it could only take two. That is hilarious when he does that. But, yeah, um, you know, punishing Boo, like most of the time I can, if he's doing something wrong, just a verbal, loud noise for me saying his name will usually get him to stop what he's doing. Either that or he'll, what he's doing to get in trouble, he'll do it even faster. Like if he's getting in the cabinet or something like that, if, he's, if we've left the cabinet open. And once again, most of the time when Boo gets into stuff, it's, it's really our own fault because we've left the cabinet open or have, don't have some security. And Boo will get into it. He has he has intellect power. He knows he's going to stuff it open. Another, another really good comment that was left um, actually is going to inspire one of Boo's next videos. It was from Rams Girl 84 It's uh, basically she's asking about Boo's daily routine. Like I can sit here all night and tell you about Boo's daily routine. So instead, we're, boo, I got a great, I got a great, come here. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna do a daily routine, which will be from waking up in the morning with Boo. I'll show you what he, what he, his food that he gets in the morning and what he does throughout the day. A daily routine with a monkey. And this is a 24 seven, seven days a week. It never goes away. Boo is always here and it is a big responsibility. So if you think about getting a monkey, think about always being at home with your monkey. Like, most people cannot handle a monkey. Go here. Okay. All right, now this uh, next question is, is a pretty good question. It's from Motion Flow Studios, which I want to give a special shout out to. They just made a great montage video on my main channel, Pete Mall Show, if you want to go check it out. It's just uh, clips, highlights of some of the videos we've done in the last year or two. But his question is, where did we get the name Boo? When we were coming back from Florida, like I really wanted the name Boo Kong. Just K-O-N-G. Um, I don't really know how we come up with the name Boo. Somewhere on the way back, Ty started calling him Boo, and it actually started out as a Boo. And after a few days, we started calling him Boo. I guess they got the name of Boo from that movie Aladdin, maybe. I think that was the monkey's name in there. But we don't want it. Boo's an original. A Boo and Aladdin, I guess, is an original. You know, he's a in front of the camera, we can't video. But yeah, we decided instead of a boo, we changed it to boo. I, one name I even thought of naming, but I want to name him Tupac. He's one of my favorite musicians and rappers of all time. I want to name him Tupac. And yes, boo has a purse. Get your purse out, boo. Show everybody your purse. Oh boy. Okay, now for the next few minutes of this video, I'm going to have some personal fun with some viewers that me and boo like to refer to as haters. Here you go, boo. You ready, you, ready to, you ready to talk shit to the haters? Urbex2007 straight up told me that I was cruel to Boo and I was not suitable to own a monkey. All I can say to that guy is, how many monkeys have you ever owned? What have you ever seen me do cruel to Boo? Nobody ever has. Um, I took and had the surgery, had his canines removed, we had him neutered. It was for his own good. He is a domesticated animal. He's never going back out into the wild. So there's no need for him to have canines for his defense. He has thumbs and fingers, he can take care of himself. And if there's something that he can't handle, I'm right here for him. The next comment was left by Scott Cooper and me and Boo do not like him. Boo saying, Scott Cooper can lick my little monkey balls. But he said that this is a disgrace and monkeys belong in the wild. Boo, you wanna to go to the wild? Like I said in this video and other videos, Boo has never been in the wild. He would not survive. He would not last a few hours out in the woods by himself. A big animal could get him. Um, 
You know, even if he still had his canine and stuff, like I'm sure he could probably kick a little ass on a smaller animal, but you know, Boo has no concept of the wild. He sees trees out there and he don't even mess with. So no, I'm not sending my monkey to the wild. And you know, Boo has been bred into captivity. That's all he knows. He has no concept of the wild. And all I can say to you, if you don't like Boo's videos, you have the option. Don't watch them. That's all you gotta do. Just don't watch. If you don't like Monkey Boo's videos, you shouldn't be on this channel. Some of Boo's newest and most hardcore haters, Noella Ectoring, I believe it was, and I see where a lot of you guys commented back. She told me I was cruel, that I didn't deserve to own my monkey because I had him neutered, and she hates it when people do that, and hates when people have their cat's claws took off. You know, and she went as far as to call me an asshole. You know, I took a look at this girl's YouTube channel. First off, you don't want to get into a name calling contest with me because I can just look at your picture and eat you alive in name calling, but we're not going to go there. Boo, Monkey Boo Channel is about happiness and, and having fun with the monkey. And, you know, I can say to her, she's never owned a monkey. We're going to be doing live things with Boo. I've got an event uh, coming up later this summer with Boo, and there's going to be a lot of people around him, and better safe than sorry. You know, Boo's the same monkey as he was before. He just don't have canines now. He can't. You know, if he does take a, a notion to bite somebody, he's not going to make gigantic punctures. I honestly don't see Boo biting anybody. I mean, look at him. He's just so lovable. The name calling stuff, Monkey Boo fans, come to the rescue. That girl got more hate comments on her comment that she left, you know. And the same thing I'll tell her. If you don't like Boo's videos, if you don't like what I've done with my monkey, don't come to his channel. We don't want you watching. Thank you. So basically, Noel, Scott, and Urbex, uh, the three people who left the really ugly comments, Boo said that you could kiss his little monkey balls, even though you don't have any. He's like, he's still got a sack there. He don't like you guys. Why would you come on his channel and leave those comments? I'm not trying to be ugly, and, and I know Boo has a lot of fans. I hope you guys kind of find it funny that I told them people that. But yeah, then here's the remote control we talked about in the last question and answer video. He's completely taken it apart. Now, some other things. I'm gonna drop a few questions at you guys. Um, I'm going to be taking a road trip with Boo. I can take Boo pretty much anywhere I want to go now. Where would be a cool place to take Boo to? Um, you know, I asked this, I asked that on Twitter the other day, and people were like, take him to Walmart or take him here, take him there. No, like, we can actually take him on a road trip. Would you like Monkey Boo to come visit you at your house? Boo, you want to go see some fans? You want to go see some people? Like, tell me a cool place to take him to. Like I said, we're, I'm licensed to take him around and I would love to travel with him. If you have some good ideas for, you know, places to take him to or anywhere, just leave it in the comments. Let me know, where would you like to see Pete and Monkey Boo travel to? Boo, you ready to go on a road trip? Are you ready to go? I think he'd do really good. He'd love it. Yes, yes, yes. One more thing we're going to be doing is ordering some Monkey Boo bracelets. I got, I'm sure you guys, if you've watched enough of my videos, you notice I wear this black bracelet. It says uh, Pete Mall Show. Basically, got my YouTube channel. It says Torment Tuesday on. But we're going to be getting some Monkey Boo bracelets. What what color would you guys like to see them in? Maybe like a green or a brown. What would you like? I'm sure it'll say Monkey Boo, Monkey Boo, or Monkey Boo channel on there. But um, if you guys would like like to see some of those, leave some comments because we're definitely going to be ordering some. I guess we'll probably sell them for like four bucks. All the money that's made off of them will go back into buying stuff for Boo and keeping Boo happy. Boo said, those are my bracelets, I want my money. You gonna make some money, Boo? No, actually, we're not doing, really doing it to make money off of them. It'll just help out with, with traveling and things that we need to do with Boo. But, so it's pretty cool. So if, if there's a color idea, if you want multiple of them, I'm sure I can give you some kind of discount. And leave some comments. Tell me what you'd like to see on the Monkey Boo bracelets. This has been part two of Monkey Boo Q&A. Um, thanks guys for submitting the questions. Sometimes I'll answer them in the comments and some of you guys may actually see your question on the video. Ramsgirl84, thank you for the idea for the uh, daily routine video. And we actually have, I'm not going to tell you anything about it, but I have a booze next video coming up. It's going to be absolutely hilarious. It could potentially have viral potential. It's that funny. The, boo, the video is just going to be absolutely hilarious. I can't wait to do it, but this is part two of Monkey This is part two of Monkey Q and A. Leave questions in the comments. Um, if you guys see people leaving negative comments on Boo's channel, 
If, if you really love Boo, do me a favor, save me the time. I would much rather read your guys' comments back to these negative haters or whatever you want to call them than have to respond to them myself. You got this banana, Boo? Oh, boy. So me and Boo are going to jump on the trampoline and we're going to play a little bit and we're going to get ready for bed. And like I said, let me know about the bracelets. What colors would you like to see? Will you actually buy Monkey Boo bracelets? And where would you like to see me and Boo travel to? We're ready to take a road trip together, just me and Boo. So we can come actually visit you. We might even come to your house. And we're going to turn Boo loose in your house. He's going to get into all your stuff. And then we'll be like, all right, we'll see you later. As we close this segment of Monkey Boo Q&A Part 2, I'm going to tell you guys a really adorable, cute, funny story from last, just last night. Tracy slept in the bed with Alyssa, so it was just me and Boo in the bedroom. For some reason, he didn't want to get into bed with me, and we have a couple of the drawers in the dresser. He literally will take them out. He took the middle one out and made his own little personal hotel last night. I woke up this morning, I didn't see him in the room. I'm like, Boo, Boo, and he stuck his head out. He actually had like a shirt or something draped over his head, and he was all sleepy, and he stuck his head out. You know, I wish I would have had my camera there. That was like priceless. It was super, super funny. But yeah, Boo had like his own little camp out in the dresser last night. I don't know why he did that, but it was really adorable. Like never a dull moment when you have a pet monkey around the house. Um, he's always doing something cute or aggravating or getting into something or it's a blast. It's always, it's always something. So if you're thinking about getting a monkey, let me say this once. I'm going to say it a thousand times. Think about what you get yourself into. Owning a monkey is a big responsibility. And very few people that own a monkey can handle. They don't really know what they're getting themselves into. So this has been pretty fun. I am Pete Moss and this is the star of the video, Monkey Boo. We will see you in the next video. Tell everybody bye, Boo. Say bye. Boo Boo, say bye bye.